The stakes are getting higher for Ari as the rest of the team at the Gold Standard wonders if his business ethics are up to par when he attempts to speed up the construction in Shanghai by moving forward without permits. Bill and Luna express their disapproval. Meanwhile, Vince and Eric share their own disappointment when Ari comes clean about how he got the last minute lead role for Vince. It looks like the team is starting to realize that when it comes to doing business at the gold standard, all that glitters is not gold. You were right, Ari. SpaceX is a really good script. Vince wanted to do something different, and I think a lead role in a movie like this will definitely allow him to gain a whole new fan base. It seems like you're finally getting your head in the right place. Eric, you realize who you're talking to, right? It's not on purpose. You said Vince wants a lead role. I could easily get him a job as an Oompa Loompa in the next Willy Wonka movie, but you wouldn't like that too much, would you? Let me remind you, I built this agency so that I didn't have to be an agent for the rest of my life, and yet here I am, working for you. Vince, I know my attention has been divided lately, but it's all going to pay off when the expansion is finalized. You keep saying that, Ari. I just hope you and Luna know what they are doing. You know I have a special way of making sure things always end up in my favor, if you know what I mean. Well, it looks like you put out the fire with Vince, but does he know exactly how you got that role for him? Ryan Reynolds isn't exactly known for dropping out of a lead role at the last minute. Tina, whether or not I just so happened to run into Ryan at Nobu for lunch and possibly mention that the movie was going to be a flop has nothing to do with this, him deciding to drop out of the movie. And do you really think Vince and Eric are going to care how I got him the role? Believe it or not, Ari, business ethics do actually matter to some people. I know you think the rules don't apply to you, but I'm not sure Vince will feel the same. He won't be getting a star on Hollywood Boulevard if he's known for stealing roles. I would be up front with him and communicate exactly how you got him that part. You're such a martyr. Fine. I will tell Vince. Another pile of crap I have to deal with. As if this expansion isn't stressful enough. Speaking of which, the building permits in Shanghai are a real pain in my ass. I'm giving the go-ahead to start construction this week. Actually, Ari, that is totally against the law. I'm not trying to get involved in an international lawsuit. I know you made some unconventional business deals in order to grow the gold standard so quickly, but there is too much money at stake to put the Shanghai office at risk. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, fine. The heck with building the most innovative office in Shanghai. Everyone can forget about their damn corner offices. We will run this thing out of a cardboard box. Eric, you guys will now refer to me as Helen Keller because I'm a fucking miracle worker. You know the new Warner Brothers movie? Well, Vince is now the lead role of the film. Are you serious, Ari? We thought that the role was casted by Ryan Reynolds. No, not anymore. I just got off the phone with Warner Brothers and they said that Reynolds backed out and that they want Vince as the star, and I agreed. Wait, you already agreed? Without even talking to us? We are going to have to start looking for new representation if this is going to be the way you do business. I can't put my career at risk because you want to take shortcuts, do the work, and find the roles the ethical way. Feelings? Ethics? What is this, Girl Scouts? How do you think I got where I am? If I cared about everyone's feelings all the time, I'd still be representing Macaulay Culkin out of a damn coffee shop. Do you want to turn out like him? Ari, I expect you to fix this before next week.